Hey, what's going on guys? It's Daz here. Today I got something different for you guys. First off, these are not my hands, these are actually my fiancés. Also, as you know, I'm quite a big Logitech fan and they sent me over the new G502 wireless. I've been using quite a bit um, in Kovacs Aim Trainer, Apex Legends, and Battlefield 5. So I've spent quite a time using this mouse and I really tested it out just to give a really strong review for you guys. Please know that this does not mean that other mice cannot give you strong results. I urge heavily that weight, feel, hand size, inches or centimeters per 360 that you utilize is extremely important for finding a good mouse for you. Hopefully by the end of this video you'll be able to say, oh man, the G502 is a good mouse for me or perhaps maybe it isn't and maybe I need to go with the G Pro Wireless or perhaps another mouse from a different company. It's up to you. So let's highlight some of the big specs for the G502 Wireless. So it is a 114 gram mouse, has a one millisecond polling rate, uh, 48 hour charge with lighting and without it can last up to 60 hours. This mount is costy at $149.99 which is actually the same as a G Pro Wireless. So this is the alternate if you simply do not like the weight of the G Pro or the G502. Kind of gives you a cost comparison because essentially they're the same price and what you're really looking for to say is this a mouse for me. This mouse can have additional weight so if you really prefer that extra heavier mouse and Honestly, people who do most likely are going to be using a heavier sensitivity or because obviously those who use a low sensitivity over time will have an extra strain from using a heavy mouse. But the G502 simply is a mouse that is famous for being a mouse that does it all. It has an amazing scroll wheel for browsing, has many buttons for utilize for MMOs, has a strong right hand shape, and is really overall versatile. The only downside I can see is the scroll wheel when in a lock or unlock position has a very slight rattle, so it may bother if you're throwing your mouse around on a, low very, or a very low sensitivity. I will say that the dream for me would be to see this shape as an extremely light mouse. I for had forgotten how much power the thumb can really have in controlling a mouse. It may be heavy, but the thumb grip just gives you some really strong control that may not otherwise be there especially for those who are utilizing a fingertip grip. For a palm or claw grip, you may find yourself right at home, unless you prefer a strong hump on the back like the G403. Now also with one of the side buttons, you can see that it has a quick DPI change for sniping. Um, if those find you're changing your sensitivity on the fly via DPI, um, this might be a nice feature for you. The mouse has no noticeable issues when wireless and is quite flawless in a strong testing environments like Kovacs. I do recommend placing the sensor pretty close to the mouse, probably around 30 centimeters on the desk to avoid any possible interference or latency. It is not required, but for me, at first, wireless is, it was an extremely hard sell. This just avoids any possible interference, and I have used this mouse even while at events such as EA Play and tested in large LAN environments and noticed that there was no possible interference and was able to play at top notch. Again, I kept the wireless dongle on the desk where I put my mouse. So let's recap for those that really want to utilize this mouse. These are the key things that you should keep in mind. Do you like a heavy mouse? Do you like multiple buttons? Do you love the classic G502 feel and you're ready to go wireless? And finally, do you love the right hand shape this mouse offers? If you check all these boxes, I can 100% recommend this mouse for you. If you want the opposite in terms of all the above, then there are definitely other options for you. Also because the price tag is a quite steep, that's something also to note. Also something minor is I'm not a huge fan of the Logitech mouse feet, but these are actually quite nice uh, for the G502. For the G Pro and the G305, uh, I really didn't like those mouse feet and I changed them out using Core Pad. Honestly, for the G502 uh, for me, as playing as a competitive uh, first person shooter, I really say that this mouse is my new everyday use for a mouse. I don't really foresee it me utilizing in first person shooters, but if I'm using it on a desktop, browsing, trying to get work done, this is my go-to mouse just because it's very versatile. Overall, I hope you guys found this video helpful and gave you some insight on the G502 to see if this something would be your weapon of choice in video games or perhaps your everyday use for a mouse. Leave a like if it helped, a dislike if you wanted something a bit different, or better yet, hit me in the comment section, ask away, and I'll be sure to answer your question best I can on the mouse. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.